in air. Well, just uh, I thought I'd do the spoken thing. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, I was kind of combing through, kind of going through to the editorial process of the next poetry comp and ran across this little piece of work that goes back to about the early 80s or early 90s, sorry. Um, hmm. Anyway, so uh, haven't seen it in a while. Interesting one, kind of a kind of a girl who dumped me poem, or a girl who you know can't say she really dumped me because we never had a thing going. But uh, it's kind of funny to look back at it. Um, just kind of I occasionally kind of get going with the kind of bitter incel kids, and uh, it's always kind of a lively conversation. But uh, kind of a look back to, you know, some of my more angry, bitter days. Uh, so this is one I wrote, and of course I wrote a lot of poems like this, you know, just they, they were a fistful. Uh, this one is called Zen Carousel, um, and it's kind of funny, I don't know, especially given how with the particular girl that is the subject of this poem, uh, why I had as much vitriol for her as I did, because uh, above all the other women who rejected me, this one was the kindest. But I guess it just goes to show you sometimes, you know, when you've had a gutful, sometimes it comes out in weird ways, especially when you don't have much of an outlet. Um, anyway, uh, the poem itself, Sen Carousel. One more consecutive step backwards, sat in the salt pond of apprehension, Waiting like a beaten puppy dog, you crucified me on the longitude and latitude of bruised failure. Words cannot reach their arms around the violated contempt I feel, injured sense of sad pride. You weren't going to let it happen to me again. Not you. Never you. Why else would I have stumbled upon you when I did? Greener pastures roll forth at your beck and call, forsaking blundering fools like me. You part your legs for a flavor more palatable. Perk your ears up to a line more accessible. Is he the pin-up dream of a happy Zen smile trip? Does he correspond to the correct answers of those Cosmo questionnaires? And just how long can he support the front? Just short of a hundred on the fairy tale man scale? How real is your movie? You were right on the money that night in the parking lot. You're not humane. You're lethal. Right. Funny stuff. Everybody laugh. Uh, hmm. Yeah. It just, uh, kind of the going thing that feels like a million miles away right now from where I'm at. And, uh, just, uh, let's say, Probably the best thing that ever happened to me was actually getting the wheels under this poetry thing and under the zine thing and uh, and just under the writing thing in general. And uh, that's that helped things work out for me quite well. I wound up traveling around the country, actually getting to meet the most important thing, getting to meet people, like-minded people who shared common goals with me. And just a lot of good things happened from there. And that kind of was, wound up being more or less my salvation. Anyway, yeah, I don't know, just can't really, can't really relate to the anger anymore, but it was there in abundance back in the day. Um, I don't know, I think what else I could add to that. Yeah, I just... Meant a lot of the time right now. I just look at it and just, well, pretty good words. Anyway, never sneeze an inspiration from where it can come. Toodles.